In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the fastest, easiest and cheapest ways to create videos for your YouTube channel. But before we get started, if you are interested in growing your business online, then you're in the right place as I upload one, two, sometimes three videos every week. So before we get started with today's video, please go ahead, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future content. So let's get cracking. So what you're looking at right now is an article that I have found which talks about the 11 top rated tourist attractions in Nagoya. Now Nagoya is a city in central Japan and that's where I've lived for the past 20 years. Now this article is just to demonstrate the purpose of how we do these things but you can use absolutely any article that you want just do a simple Google search, find an article that you like that's related to the topic that you would like to make a video about, and you can go ahead and use that article. So the first thing we want to do with any YouTube video is we want to make sure that we're focused on a keyword that people are searching for. So I'm just going to type, well, I'm going to copy this, tourist attractions in Nagoya, and I'm going to head on over to this tool, which is called Morning Fame. It's a fantastic tool. I'll leave an invite code below because you have to join through an invite code. And then under the topic, I'm going to paste that in here, tourist attractions to visit in Nagoya, and I'm going to hit choose first result for step two. And what we can see right away is this is not a great keyword because no one's actually searching for it. This little cross here means there's no search volume. So what I want to do is try and think of a different way to say it. What would people be searching for that are interested in Nagoya? So we're going to go back to topic. And I'm just going to put something like places to, yeah, this places to visit in Nagoya. Now we can see here that this now goes from a cross to a green check. And we can see that this is a search term. It's above morning fame score of 11 or higher. So we know that people are searching for this particular keyword. But more importantly, I also know that a channel of my size has the potential of getting some ranking traffic. Now, Morning Fame suggests that you go for DDDA. Um, that's their grading system for keywords, and they relate it to your channel size because this is connected to my channel. So what I'd do from here is I'd click on search, and then I can see that this is a good video for a channel of my size to focus on. So I'm going to make my video, but I'm going to change the keyword from top rated tourist attractions to places to visit. So that's just going to be something to bear in mind for the future. So the first thing we want to do is we'll want to take the script. Now, to save time, I'm not going to take this whole article and I'm just going to copy the first two paragraphs. So I'm going to copy these first two paragraphs. And I can't just use this script as it is. I want to use something that is a little bit unique. So I'm going to use a software to rewrite this. And I'm going to use this one, which is called Quillbot. Quillbot has a free version and a paid version. The paid version is $15 per month. The difference is with the free version, you can rewrite things, but you can only have this fluency option. So it will change certain words into different synonyms. If you want to change it, a little bit more in depth. You're going to have to get the paid version, which I have, but I'm going to focus on the free one today. And that will rewrite it and it will either expand it, shorten it, make it more creative, more simple, etc. But let's just paste that text in here. We're going to hit paraphrase. And now it's going to basically rewrite these two paragraphs in different words. Now we want to make sure that it makes sense, but 99% of the time it's going to be fine. So we're going to use this as our video script. Now we're going to take this, I'm just going to copy this, and then I'm going to come on over to a software called wave.video. I really like this software. There are lots of other softwares that do a similar job. We've got InVideo, a um, whole bunch of different things, but to me wave is the best one out there. So I'm going to click on create video and then text to video and I'm going to put that in here which is the one that Quillbot wrote and I'm just going to space between these little paragraphs. So let me just do that and then I'm going to choose preferably free which means the stock assets that Wave is going to find are going to be free because if we don't do that our video might look good but then we're going to have to pay to use certain images and videos. I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to make this video for YouTube, so I want to make sure that I have a horizontal template. And I like this as a guide, so I'm going to choose this one. 
and then I'm going to hit create video. Now what's going to happen, Wave is going to take that text and it's going to add it to that particular template and then we're going to have to edit that template so that it's, you know, it's a video that looks nice. Now, a really important part of a video is an audio. So I'm gonna just share with you this tool here. This is called Audacity. Now you don't need to do this. A lot of softwares and Wave is no different. They will have text-to-speech softwares. It's my personal opinion that all text-to-speech softwares sound robotic. They don't sound very good. And yes, they're free and you can get a video really quickly. But there's no point creating a video for the sake of it. You want to have a video that is going to convert. And I believe that you should have a real person reading the audio. So of course you can head on over to fiverr.com and you can say to somebody, could you please read this script aloud? And they may charge you whatever they want to charge you. Sometimes it can get expensive if the script is long. Now this example is very short. But if it was a real video with, say, 500 or 1,000 words, it, you know, it's going to add up over time if you keep doing this. So I recommend that you download Audacity. It works on a Mac or a PC. And then what you'd do, and I'm going to get it ready here, you would basically open up Audacity, and then you'd hit record, and you would just read your script aloud. So I'm just going to go over to um, Quillbot, and then I'm going to bring Audacity back in. So I'm just going to press record and then I'm going to read this. Now, possibly I'll make a mistake, I'll stumble, I'll mumble. Sometimes you've got to do it several times. But just for the sake of this video, if I make a mistake, I'll just ignore it and keep going. So let's hit record and let's get going. Nagoya has grown to become Japan's busiest port as a result of its location on the Pacific Ocean. It's also historically been a significant manufacturing location for traditional industries like pottery and textiles. The pottery industry was founded here in the 12th century and has since become a tourist destination due to its various workshops and factory visits. Many of the city's historic sites have been preserved and are popular tourist destinations. Among these is the beautiful 16th century castle, which, like most of the city centre, was restored following World War II devastation. Now there's this little bit of pause at the end, or this little bit of um, space at the end that I don't need. That's where I stopped speaking and then I had to go up here and click stop. So what I'll do, it, this is going to be a little bit out of screen, but I'm just going to highlight this and then I'm going to come out of screen and I am going to hit cut. So you hit edit and cut. You can do that at the start as well. So you kind of copy this. Then at the top, you just click on edit, cut, and this is there. Okay, so that's good. If you don't do this, you can still do this with inside of Wave. And then I'm going to download this. So I need to click on a file, export, export as mp3. And then I'm going to title this Nagoya, and I'm going to save this to my desktop and hit OK. So this is now being saved to my desktop, so I can minimize that. So now I have an audio. I have my actual script. Let's go back over to Wave, and we can see that the video is getting there. So we want to make this video a little bit better. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to remove these transitions between slides. So I'm going to click on the transition, going to click on None, and then apply to the whole video. So that will remove the transitions between all of the slides. Next, I'm going to remove this background audio. So click on the audio and then click on this. Now I need to play around with the text. So let's come back over here to the first slide. We'll click on it somewhere. Then we'll click within the text and I'm going to change the font. So now this is, of course, personal preference. I'm going to remove that one and I'm just going to type in Arial. I like this font. Click on that click outside. I personally like to have a size of 120. Um, we'll keep the colouring the same. I like to have it all centred. I don't need any text effect because it takes away from you know what people are listening to. So we'll click on none. Click outside again. And I like to remove the rounded box and go to a classic box. Let's click on that. And then I apply this to the whole video. So every, every slide has the same font, the same size. It's all centered. That's just the way that I like to do things. You can do whatever you want. This is just me. Now I'm going to click on this and I'm going to kind of drag it into the middle at the bottom. And then I'm going to stretch this out. Now, it's my personal opinion that two lines is the max. If it goes three lines up, it covers too much 
of the actual image. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy some of this, Japan's busiest port. I'm going to copy this as a result of its location on the Pacific Ocean. So I'm going to copy it, then I'm going to delete it, and then I'm just going to enter so it kind of, you know, it looks good. Let's just play around with this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to drag this across so there's a little bit of space. Click on text, add text, double click and just get rid of all this stuff and then paste what I copied. And then I'm going to stretch this out and see if I can fit this in one line. I can. So I'm just going to, oops, just going to play around with this. We'll click outside, we'll drag it across a little bit, make it all centered. So now the it goes from this to this. Now I know that this is not Nagoya. This is actually um, somewhere else. Somebody that doesn't know Japan wouldn't have a clue, but I don't want this here. So I'm going to click on this, click replace, stop library, and I'll see if there's anything related to Nagoya. I'll hit enter. Now I know that this looks like Nagoya Castle. This is Nagoya Castle. So I'm just going to click on uh, let's choose, let's click on this picture and just have a closer look. Yeah, well, I think that's Nagoya Castle. Yes, it is. It's got the little golden um, thing at the top. So we'll hit replace. And that's going to replace the image and it's going to go across both bits. So if we kind of wait for it to kind of do its thing, let's click back. There we go. So that's good. And we kind of go through and we want to do this for all of our um, slides. So this is the thing that's going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to stretch this across, click on this little circle, delete, because I don't like that little circle, click back, replace, stock library, and I'll choose, let's come through and have a different one. Um, let's click in here and see if I can find one that is specifically Nagoya Castle. I may or may not. We've got a bunch of different images, so I'll choose this one. Just uh, spice sp spice things up a little bit. So we've got a different image in here. So let's kind of click away. Now, of course, I personally, as I mentioned, I think three lines covers too much. But just to speed things up, we'll kind of do it again. So again, we'll make this a little bit um, longer. Oops. I'll then choose a bit. The pottery industry was founded here in the 12th century. Um, let's copy that. Copy, delete, then we'll drag this bit of text across. We want to make sure we drag the text. This is the image and this is the text. So we only wait worrying about the text. We'll add some text, add text, and we'll do the same kind of deal. Let's see if I can get the word visits. Here we go. That's good. So I've got it in two lines. Click, delete, uh, replace, stock library. Let's choose pottery this time. Let's see if we can find anything related to pottery. See, this is a video. This is a bit of text. It doesn't really matter. If you want an image, choose an image. If you want a video, choose a video. I'll just choose this. That is fine. Now, I'm just going to pause this video and go through and do this for the whole video. So I'm going to be back in one second. Let me pause the video right now. OK, so I've decided just to keep the video nice and short. So I've done that. Now we need to upload the audio that we had recorded earlier. So we're going to click on this little um, option here where it says record voice. We'll click on this. Then we'll go to uploads. OK, and then I'm just going to drag and drop it in here. So I'm going to drag and drop this in here and we'll give it a few seconds to upload our MP3 file. And when this is uploaded, we'll hit a button and it will automatically apply it to our video. But we're going to have to play around with the syncing to make sure that everything matches. So we're going to click on add. And it's going to come down here. It might it's come down here. Unfortunately, or my mistake, I have my little um, thing here. My timeline was here. So I've just got to drag this basically to the start. Let's just play around, drag it to the start of the video. OK. Now you'll notice that when I press play, my voice may not match the scenes exactly. We've got to get the timing right. So let's just uh, press play and have a look. Has grown to become Japan's busiest port as a result. So you can see I started speaking as a result before it had come up here. So what I need to do is click on this part here, which is where I've the scene where I've got this text, and just kind of drag it a little bit. And then we'll just click just before it. 
We'll hit play and we'll see how this sounds. This port as a result of its local nope, so I need to make this a lot further forward. So let's bring that across here. It's a little bit of playing around with it. Let's try again. Japan's busiest port as a result of its location on the Pacific Ocean. It's also historically been a significant manufacturing location for traditional industries. Okay, so I'm actually going to remove the word as because that doesn't actually make sense. And I know when I actually read the audio, I made the audio, I didn't speak that word. Let's click on this. So we're going to click, we're clicking outside of the text and outside of this. So this is the whole file, the whole scene. And we're just going to drag it. Now I can see here there's a pause. So that's probably where this finishes. So I'm just going to drag that across here. Now let's click in here somewhere and press play. Manufacturing location for traditional industries like pottery and textiles. The pottery industry was founded here in the 12th century. And okay, and you get the idea. So again, I'm going to pause the video and go through and do this for the rest of the slides. And when I'm done, I'll come back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've synchronized all of the scenes with the audio. It didn't take me very long, but this was a video that's only 36, 37 seconds long. Obviously, it's going to take you a little bit longer if you've got a longer video. Once you've played it through and you're happy that everything matches, then what you can do is you can hit this publish button and then you'll choose video. And then you're going to need to give wave.video a few minutes to render it. So make sure you choose 1080p and MP4. Just leave it as it is. Then you're going to hit render. And it's going to go around and it's going to go from 0 to 100%. Again, how long this takes will be dependent on the length of your video, uh, your internet connection, how many other people are on wave at the same time. But generally, it's relatively quick. Once this is ready, you will either be able to share this directly to your YouTube channel, or what I prefer to do is I like to download it to my computer, uh, and then I'll go ahead and upload it to my YouTube channel when I'm ready. So while that's getting ready, we're going to go over to canva.com. Canva's, again, it's a free or a paid resource. I have the paid version, but you can get away with the free version. You're going to want to create a thumbnail for this video, because one of the most important things for YouTube is having a thumbnail. So once you've created a Canva account, just come over here and just start typing in YouTube or thumbnail or something like that. We can, uh, oop, let's just put YouTube thumbnail, see if that brings it up, YouTube thumbnail. So we can click on this and it will bring it up here and you can go ahead and create a thumbnail now. Again, I've got more templates because I've got the paid version. You can choose one of these templates as a base if you want to, or you can create one from scratch. It really depends. So we can click on this view more. We can see if we've got any other ideas of things that might fit. Now, there's obviously not going to be anything related to Nagoya. Um, let's kind of come through. If I don't find anything, it'll be fine. Let's click on the theme again. Travel is probably going to be the best choice. So let's click on travel. Got all of these different options. Uh, and I'm just going to try and play around with this. Let's choose this one. It says explore Beijing. So this could be something that will be very simple to edit because we can just switch the word Beijing to Nagoya and we can maybe just change the image. So first of all, I'm going to double click on Beijing and put Nagoya and I'm going to put it in all caps. And I'm just going to stretch that out. I'm just going to bring that up a little bit. I'm going to change the background. So I'll click on the background somewhere. Click on this little background color. You want to choose something that either matches your brand or matches whatever it is that you're doing. So let's just click on white, orange. What can we do? It's going to. Yeah, let's click on this horrible yellow color. We'll click on that for now. Then I'm going to click on this image here. And I'm just going to type in here Nagoya and see if anything comes up. No templates. So in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to basically find an image. So I'm going to go on over to Pixabay, pixabay.com again, another free resource. I'm going to type in here Nagoya, see if they have anything. These are all Nagoya. Uh, okay, let, that's Nagoya. this is a good one, Nagoya Castle. We'll click on this. We'll click free download. I'll choose the smallest one. We'll hit download. And then this is going to download. And I'm just going to drag that onto my computer off screen. I'm going to come back over here. going to click 
on uploads and then I'm going to drag and drop that in here that is going to upload there then what we can do because we actually have this image highlighted if we just click on this get rid of that delete that and let's see if we can fit there we go it kind of fit in there naturally didn't it that was good so now we've got the image here I could if I click on it I could even make it bigger so it's like that and then I've just got explore Nagoya so that would do for a thumbnail now of course we can use one of their templates let's bring that over a little bit we could use one of their templates we could pay a freelancer but we're just doing this quickly for free nice and simple let's go back over to wave.com let's see our video is ready so I'm just going to close this off down here as you can see you can share it or publish to all of these places but I'm going to hit download 1080p and it's going to download automatically so now I have my video and I could play it here or I could play it here so let's unmute it and let's press play and have a look Nagoya has grown to become Japan's busiest port as a result of its location on the Pacific Ocean. It's also historically been a significant manufacturing location for traditional industry. Now you can see these three lines do cover a large portion of the video, which means that particular scene doesn't always doesn't look so good, which is why I highly recommend you stick to two lines. But sometimes, you know, it's not always possible. Industries like pottery and textiles. The pottery industry was founded here in the 12th century and has since become a tourist destination due to its various workshops and factory visits. Many of the cities... You get the idea. So then you can take this video, you can upload it to YouTube, you can add your thumbnail that you've got on Canva. So we like this thumbnail, so we'll hit download. Whether you choose a PNG or a JPEG, no one really cares. Click on download and that is going to load up and then it's going to download to your computer. Now you've got a video, you've got a thumbnail. You can go ahead, put this video on your channel. Oh, opened it up by mistake there. And you're good to go. And you can continue to do this time and time and time again. Pixabay is free. Canva's got a free option. You can use the free version of Quillbot. The only thing that you're going to need to spend a little bit of money on is Wave.video. And that's going to cost you less than $30 per month. And to have the option to continually create video after video after video, it's highly worth it. And I'll leave a link in the description below where you can grab it and get some really cool bonuses as well if you want to. I hope you found this video useful. Again, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and I'll I'll see you in another video soon. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.